hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do a roundup of some of the new in handbags at my favorite designer brands it's january sales are dwindling for the uh, contemporary designers that had a bunch of sales for christmas boxing day all of that they're slowly dwindling down and brands are restocking the shelves so i'm going to quickly go through um, a couple of my favorite design houses and brands and what they've put out there this month that's new that is eye-catching or that I particularly think is really nice first off let's start with one that is really big on my radar right now and that is Fendi all through last year Fendi went huge went hard on their baguette pieces because they were celebrating the anniversary of the baguette and I have a whole video on that if you want to watch it I'll leave it linked in the description box below however the one that that we were waiting for the huge launch came in January um, a couple of days ago they launched their Fendi X Tiffany and Co line and it is so beautiful everything in that beautiful Tiffany blue like in fact I don't know what piece is my favorite and I'm just blown away because so it's a nice mix of ready-to-wear and handbags and for the handbags of course you have the classic baguettes and also in different textures and um, textiles so they have I've seen some satin versions and of course I've seen the leather classic leather versions as well and I just think it is so pretty like I know I said um, a baguette if any baguette is on my wish list for this year but honestly if I had all the money in the world it would be the one baguette that I would get this year will be the baguette from the Tiffany & Co collection because I absolutely love it. Now let's move over to Louis Vuitton. This year we've seen that LV has reissued their Ellipse bag which honestly is no surprise to me at all because last year I did a lot of browsing on the uh, resale market and I saw a lot of Ellipse bags being sold and being bought. I, I mean it was like that was one of the most purchased bags from LV on the second hand market last year from what I saw especially like from Japanese sellers on eBay so it's definitely a popular style like one of their OG styles and I guess they must have noticed that and they've reissued it in this January so it, there are some slight modifications from the previous version and this one but I think it's great that they're revisiting these older styles that people really love like even though I know LV is trying to transition away from coated canvas to leather they're trying to push their leather goods a whole lot more i think that their canvas is still a huge part of their brand a huge reason why so many people love the design house and they really they really can't get away from that so i think this is a good step in the right direction for lv now another handbag that they recently came out with that i'm totally totally loving is the side trunk this was released um in december i want to believe and oh my goodness i just it's 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 not up there on the bags that I want from LV. It's not on my wish list for this year, but if I were to buy a bag from LV, it's going to tie uh, right now with the Cousin because the Cousin is my favorite currently from LV. Never mind that it is 6,000 Canadian dollars plus, <laughs> but I absolutely love that bag. And they've actually done the Cousin this season in a smaller version. So there's the pouch, there's the waist bag, there's the um, BB size Cousin, like, smaller sizes but i still like the big pm croissant bag because i think it's just so beautiful and luxurious they also did the croissant in the um kusama collection so they have the white leather with the uh chain strap that has the dots from the kusama collection which i think is a really nice way to incorporate those dots subtly in that classic style so the croissant in new colors and new sizes and then the side trunk Ah, love that side trunk because it's classic LV trunk style. That is what they were known for historically is their luggage. And so they've done their uh, trunk style bag, but in a soft version. So the sides are still hard and stiff and structured, but the rest of the bag is really nice and soft and mushy. And I just think it's a fun play on that style because whereas the previous um, styles of their trunk style bags are hard, hard case bags, which are okay, nothing wrong with that, but this is a really nice twist, a spin on that style, and I think it is perfect. I really, really like the bag. For a canvas bag, it's definitely pricey. It's about $5,000 Canadian, and again, it's kind of like a good thing, in my opinion, for them, because it's not a leather bag. It's in canvas. They do have it in the regular monogram version and in the black as well. I think there's a black denim, so absolutely love the side trunk from LV. And finally, from LV, they have um, Lunar New Year pieces out. They have released a couple of items 
uh, for this year's year of the rabbits so i've seen some keychains which are very pricey for keychains but it is a luxury designer so they do have a bunny rabbit key holder and they're calling their rabbit this year the precious rabbit they have i saw a beanie which i think i quite liked that also had the precious rabbit motif on it so little pieces i haven't seen big pieces they have a um a scarf they have the beanie they have the key holder which are nice as souvenirs um, if you celebrate Lunar New Year or if you were born in the uh, year of the rabbit. Of course, other brands are already pushing out their Lunar New Year items as well. Coach is not left out, definitely not. They do have a line of Lunar New Year pieces at their boutique store. So we've, so what Coach has done this year for the year of the rabbit is they've done this uh, bunny graphic, which I'm not particularly fond of because it just looks off to me but some people really like it but they've done that bunny uh graphic face on their classic signature print and they're doing it a lot in pinks and the signature khaki color which i really like i like that combination of pink and brown and, and i'm seeing that a lot with coach uh this season for some reason so they've done that they've done it in uh, a few small leather goods and in shoes i really really particularly love the high tops I think that's the only thing I love from this Lunar New Year collection from Coach is the high tops with the face of the bunny. I think it looks really, really cool, like street cool. Um, so they have that. They also put a bunch of just pink and wine handbags that they've had from previous collections in that part on that part of the website. So they do have some nice banded bags that they've released for Lunar New Year that have the um on the hand tag they have a bunny charm which I think is really cute. They have one in wine, they have one in pink and probably my favorite is the um khaki signature canvas with the pink leather trim. I think that is beautiful but that's in the smaller size banded but I think it's a beautiful combination nonetheless. Now, still on Coach, there are some new releases that are coming in February. We've seen some handbags already in their Asian market, and they're going to get to North America, I've heard, in February. So look out early to mid-February. You're going to be seeing the Sami top handle, which I am so excited for, like so, so excited for. I wish immediately that bag shows up. I wish I could purchase it, but you know, I'm trying to slow down this year. But no, that bag is gorgeous. I think it's about the same size. From what I saw on online, it should be about the same size as this uh, Michael Kors Avril. So not a big bag, but it's not small. It's kind of like a small to medium size. And of course, it comes in my favorite color, yellow. So I'm really hoping that um, that yellow comes to North America. It does come in a lot of other colors as well. Chalk, black, um, pink with silver hardware, which is really nice. I'm really, really hoping that the yellow, which is in the color hair, so in coach hair, I, I'm really hoping that it comes to North America. Also, with those new releases, there are some more Rogue 20s that are coming out. So, Coach released the Rogue in the size 20 for the first time last year, which is smaller than the regular size 25, but bigger than the 17. So, it's a nice in-between for people who love smaller bags. So, they're releasing that in some new colors. They're also releasing the bandits as well in new colors come February. And finally, for Coach Boutique, new releases, look out for the Valentine's collection. That should have dropped by the time you're seeing this video. It's pretty much the same as what they had for Valentine's last year. They have the field toes, they have some SLGs with the hard print. So again, against the backdrop of the classic signature canvas, they have hard prints all over. But this time it comes with like little charms here and there on the different items. So just look out for that. If you love that particular print, you have a chance this year to pick up some more and add to your collection. Now, speaking of Valentine's and Coach Outlets, they also have a Valentine collection that has launched and I think a couple of people will be happy with this because they have brought out the hard bags in new colors. Now last year the hard bags from the coach outlet were really huge. They sold out in days, they sold out in minutes in the US, in days in Canada. They brought, they had them in the pink and the uh, brown canvas version but this year they've done them in two colors that I have my stamp of approval black like solid black and then solid red and i remember last year when the bag came out i'm like why would they not do a black like i was so upset that there wasn't a black but i'm glad they actually didn't do the black now in hindsight because i might have bought that black and then when the retail black came out i would not have wanted to buy it so i'm happy that i got the retail quoted black instead but if that was above your price point or you didn't really like that quoted vibe coach outlet is here with the cross grain leather black heart bag and i actually like the configuration of the coach outlet heart bag because it has the two zippers very similar to my serena satchel so 
it has the zipper in front the zipper at the back and it has the handle in the middle so it the balance is right because it has that top handle the balance is really really right the um boutique version does not have a top handle and so it tends to flop forward and backward when you're wearing it on the crossbody chain but the outlet hard bags have that top handle so it's easy to like set down and it stays it maintains its balance when you hold it you know that kind of thing so i think the that version of the hard bag is really nice and so it's great that they've now done it in solid black and solid red so if you want a hard bag and this is more your vibe you should jump on it really quick because it's going to sell out I'm, I'm very sure i am very sure it's going to sell out now for other new styles that have come out from coach outlet this month there's the Peyton hobo which i've talked about in a couple of my previous videos that i'm absolutely currently obsessed with again the Peyton hobo comes in that uh, light signature khaki canvas with pink leather i don't know what it is with this brown and pink this season but i'm absolutely here for it they also have a chalk with silver hardware which is very hard to find white bags with silver hardware and then they have this really nice light sage color as well so very very cute bag and then for the men's bag they have this really nice crossbody that reminds me of the robe 12 crossbody from the boutique also in this very good green that i think is a very nice different type of green that i haven't seen before so i love that bag from the men's collection as well if you just like bags in general you may want to take a look at the coach outlet men's section because they have some really really nice bags there as well and for Luna New Year, Coach Outlet has gone in a different direction from the boutique. So they've done the horse and carriage logo. But this time, instead of the horse, they have the bunny pulling the carriage. And they've put that again against the brown signature canvas. So they have a couple of bags and smaller that goes with that design. Again, I'm not particularly excited about the collection. The one item I do like is the red sweatshirt that they have with the bunny and carriage. I think for me, that's the only one that really speaks to me artistically and style wise. Now, more Lunar New Year collections that I have seen from designer brands uh, are from Karl Lagerfeld and Kate Spade. Now, for the Karl Lagerfeld one, this one really caught my attention because it was funny <laughs> to me. Just because I admire Karl Lagerfeld and his work. So, for Karl Lagerfeld Paris, they've done their Lunar New Year theme with Choupette. If you're familiar with uh, Karl, you know that he had his pet cat. And so, I'm not sure if the way they've done this motif, if Trippette is supposed to be a bunny or there's a bunny that's trying to be Trippette one of the two But I thought it was absolutely hilarious And so if you like that type of style Karl Lagerfeld Paris does have a couple of items with a Trippette style bunny on them Kate Spade however has gone in a different direction where I'm not even sure if I like this bag or not, but they have come out with full bunny inspired bags like they have this bag at their boutique where the the bag has ears like a bunny it's furry it's full um shell it's full fur so it's very furry it has ears like a bunny it has diamonds like uh the eyes and things it's i don't know I, I think it has a diamond to represent the nose of the bunny so it's, it's just it's kind of weird looking but it's supposed to be fun and playful at the same time so i'm not sure i saw the purple version on instagram and i'm, I'm not sure how i feel about that bag i did a poll on my instagram and many people were not here for that bag from the results of that post so if you're not following me on instagram you should because i post all of these details in real time on my instagram stories and in my feed as well so follow me my instagram handle is at yellow spark story and i know kate spade has done something similar at their um factory outlet as well because one of the sales associates from kate spade outlet sent me a picture showing that similar type of bunny style bag but like in a smaller cuter version the color was creamy so it's not as um out there as the purple version from the boutique but i haven't seen it in person the picture wasn't that clear so um i don't know i still don't know how i feel about that bunny at all from kate spade now at kate spade boutique they still have other types of um handbags for lunar new year that's out they have their classic handbags so the all day totes in the large size with bunnies on them i think that's nice that's more subtle um they also have the manhattan totes which is another staple um in their brand with bunny prints on it as well that one of course is also nice for valentine's they've come out with a 3d hard bag so this is it's puffy but it's 3d so it's kind of thick and it has a chain around it they have it in red and in black and then they've also continued with, with their sam icon line by bringing out a black full shelling sam icon tote but with a large hat 
on the top so if that's more your style then kate spade has those options for you finally i want to mention one handbag that i saw at terry Birch that really caught my eye it is a zip tote so classic tote style like at this point every design house has a tote style among their classics and of course terry Birch is not left out so they have different tote options but this particular one is a new style the pattern on the bag reminds me so much of goyard definitely gives me goyard vibes but it is a bit smaller than the classic Goya tote and it has a zipper top. It also has a pouch that comes with it on the interior. I think it's removable, I'm not sure, but it can come extend out of the bag. Very similar to the Never Fall and the way the pouch in the Never Fall is attached to the bag. So I really like this one because it is um, a kind of like a medium compact size and it does have a zipper closure as well for security. The price point is also good. It's about 248 US dollars. So not bad at all it comes in five different colors so there's a lot of different options especially a yellow one to choose from and that is everything for today's video guys if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe i would love to have you here don't forget to hit the tiny notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye